Hello everybody, Divine Artway here. My name is Mary and today I would like to show you how I made this beautiful cloisonne animal triple jewelry, ring and earrings. This is casting for enamelin, for hot enamel or cold enamel, you can use cold enamel also. But now I'm going to use these basils to make a hot cloisonne enamel. The first thing I have to cut out the edges because I don't want it because I'm not going to attach something. I could use attach some uh, some hangers like a gemstones or something like that. So I'm not going to do it. So I just cut them out. I have here sending papers. And with these sanding papers, I'm trying to polish first of all because before I started enameling, I'm gonna clean them because after casting, metal has uh, extra parts which I have to remove to, to get ready for starting enameling. Remove all the extra tiny or big parts and when it's totally clean and smooth and you know nice I can start it enameling. I'm using 400 sanding paper. Inside the ring there are some strips which I don't need it so I'm trying to remove all of this. Okay our silver forms now are clean and they are ready for engraving. I'm gonna use diamond files to approach a places and to approach the parts of the of the forms of the basils to clean them out. Okay, this is engraving tool which I'm going to use for engraving. Maybe some of you will get a question why we are engraving the surface. I'm doing this because when you engraving and then, then working with enameling, cloisonne enamel is attaching very well and it's last lasting when you engraving the surface of the form. The thickness is about one millimeter and I have to be careful during engraving otherwise I will demand the basil so which is not my mission right here you can see the difference one is engraved one is not okay now it's time to make some cloisonnés with silver wire this is for special wires which are made with fine silver and also I would like to tell you the entire basils, three of them, are stamped by $9.99. But as usually in my website, I'm always written on it's stamped $9.25. Why? Because it's more common and people know what does it mean $9.25. Well, most of them doesn't know $9.99 what does it mean. But $9.29 it's more common and everybody knows this is a sterling silver. But right now I'm working on fine silver. Fine silver is stamped $9.99. I'm using tweezer and different kind of round shape sticks to make some flowers or curves or you know any kind of ornaments and i think i'm go with some flowers and ornaments this will be our main shape of the cloisonnés for our enamel here i'm going to show you how to make curve as you can see i have small one, one part is small and the other part is a little long. The small part I'm just curl over the stick and the, the second part with the tweezer I'm giving a little shape, a little round shape. And give it a shape which shape you want to give it. And now I'm taking the first part and I'm rolling up 
my tweezer and there we go we are getting curl shape now I would like to show you how I'm making flower it's so easy both sides are the same sizes then I'm sliding little down the sticks I have paste and with the tweezers let's deepen and round our closet name and there we go this is the one petal of flower I'm gonna use white this is not a transparent animal color this is a paste color not transparent I'm not using any silver sheet any flux because I'm using just one color so it's not necessary at all if this white would be transparent definitely I would use silver sheet to make it more shiny right but as I told you this is the paste color so I'm not going to use anything except of this color except of the powder with the brush I'm trying to apply the main color on our cloisonne enamel basil it's not going to be so thick or not going to be so thin this is the first layer and with the tweezer let me just place over the flowers and all the beautiful cloisonnes you can place over them where you want I want this flower on the edge of the ring I like it now I'm adding let me add the curve and leaf okay there is no enough space so I I change the places I'm looking for bigger one big leaves this is the bigger one I guess okay there we go and adding another element of our cloisonnets I'm pressing with tweezers because it's a powder and you don't put them really deep and nice maybe maybe they're gonna pop out and it's gonna change the places which I really don't want it now it's time to fill it up with the powder the earrings put inside the flowers most of the time I'm using torch first because I would like to put and stick and place over the cloisonnets the wires where I want so when I'm melting with the torch it's helping me to make some adjustments if I don't like something I can fix it as you can see I'm pressing it's melted time for the second layer now I'm just trying to fill fill the closeness with the powder with the enamel powder and with the brush trying to avoid any bubbles because as you can see this is wet to avoid bubbles I have to press with gentle on the powder it's gonna make some uh, bubbles anyways but most of them we are avoiding with the cushion like this again with the torch I'm melting the clothing making some adjustment with the stick okay with the file this is about 300 file gentle when you are fine, you have to see all the edges. You have to clearly see all the cloisonnets, all the edges. Remove extra powder from it. And if you do this on water, it would be much easier and much better. We got some bubbles, as I told you, of course. So now I'm gonna fill them out also some edges there is not enough enamels first of all for after filing always we have to clean our enamel our jewelry in 
ultrasonic cleaner to remove all the dust and oils and whatever. Okay, I place over the cloisonnés the animals under the kiln because it it needs get dry. Let me put them on and just wait about one minute or until it get melt. From the window, it's easy to see when it get melt. This is melted. As you can see, we have no bubbles here, which is a good sign. Okay, now it's time to cover our enamelin with some flux. Flux is a, is a base, as a top we are using a lot. It's a completely clear color. So I have to put flux back up the enamel. And why I'm doing it? Because I want to make my jewelry last long. Over the times, uh, enamel getting cracks if it's not technologically well done. So I want my jewelry for last long, last long like centuries. So that's why I'm doing it. I'm applying the color which called flux enamel in powder and it's going to be not thick but not thin layer thickness should be one millimeter and as you can see i'm just trying to give it a well nice shape as i can it's going to be clear completely it's look like a white but it's not and after melting it's look like like this i'm gonna show you right now no bubbles, no crackers, nothing. This is well done. Okay, now I have to use sandpapers. I'm starting from 400 and going to 2000. I have to polish my cloisonne enamel. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing it. This is 400 sandpaper and gentle and smooth as you can see just move top of the enamel the main thing is you have to see all the edges clear you have to see all the cloisonnés clear we have to see glossy and smooth surface we have to get it and we have to do over and over before we will get glossy and small surface but we don't have to do too much otherwise we will go the bubbles because enamel has layers so the top of it this is the most good surface uh, when you go deep and deep there you can see some bubbles so we don't need any bubbles Right now here I'm changing my scent paper. This is 800. I'm doing the same thing, polishing my enamel. Next scent paper will be 1200. Next one will be 1500. And last one will be 2000. This is the polishing pad. This is a cotton pad. As you can see, this we have the result which we want there we go this is perfectly well done there is no cracks no bubbles the surface is completely smooth and glossy now it's time for some hooks i have to choose which is more which is more suitable for our earrings it has some stones on it so i don't like it this is quite long, so I don't like either. This earring hooks has some Swarovski on it, so I don't like either. And this is which I which I'm gonna choose. 
polishing well and using some pliers I'm just trying to attach the hooks earrings this is our gorgeous triple cousiny animal jewelry there we go this is our beautiful beautiful jewelry cousiny animal jewelry i'm so satisfied thanks for watching guys and have a great day thank you bye